everybody. This is Adriana James from adrianajames.com. And I'd like to share with you something very important from timeline therapy, a part of timeline therapy, which has to do with how to create the future that we want and make it happen. Uh, one of the things that it's not obvious that we always define the future. So we have past, present, and future, right? And we always define the future in our minds based on moment-to-moment -moment evaluation of our past, our present, and our future. So we define what is the past, we define what is the moment, and we define what is the future. And that's based on what? On our new goals, direction, and objectives that we have for the future. Because you have thoughts, you have, you have desires, you have wishes, you have goals, you have things you want to attain. Whether it is, you know, you want to lose weight, you want to make more money, you want to improve your relationship, you want to, whatever it is that, that your goals are. You want to refinance your house, you want to buy a new place, you want to move to another location, you want to buy a new car. All of these are goals for you. So you define the future moment to moment, every moment, based, and you define, funny enough, you define your past and the now based on your goals in the future. And this is a relative way of looking at time. Because time is something that's very important, is one of our most important commodities. So, cleaning up the table or setting the table before you eat becomes past. Eating is now. And after eating, cleaning up the table and the dishes and all of that is future. See how it works? Moment to moment. Your objective was to have a nice dinner or a meal or whatever. So every single task that you do during the day is organized in the brain in past, present, future. Every single task. From the simplest to the most complex. So you know, don't have an absolute organization of time as you may think. It's an arbitrary. It's an arbitrary thing that our minds do from moment to moment. Therefore, you can organize the future so that it suits your goals and objectives rather than leave it to chance. Maybe it will happen. Maybe it won't happen. It's not a maybe. In timeline therapy, we don't work with maybes. In timeline therapy, we learn how to clean up the past of what? Of everything that prevents us now to create the future the way we want. So what could be in the past that prevents us? Well, we made some limiting decisions about ourselves, about what's possible, what about what's not possible. We have experienced negative emotions. We all have experienced major negative emotions like anger, sadness, fear, hurt, guilt, frustration, irritation, maybe jealousy, maybe resentment, maybe, you know, even more complex emotions like depression or anxiety or stuff like that. We all have it's 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 key part of being human, right? And so, what do we do? We clean up the past from what prevents us to create the future the way we want. And then your goals and objectives for the future become much easier to attain. In fact, the future can happen exactly the way you want it. And that is a little secret I wanted to share with you. Be well until next time. This is Adriana James. Signing off.